Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Tov. Thank you so much for joining me. I just want to thank God for this day, for the air in our lungs, for this opportunity that we get to praise and worship Him, that we get to be in His presence. I pray that He speaks to us today, that He touches us where we are, and that He reveals Himself to us so that we will never, ever be the same again today. In the glorious, mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you today about the power of the Word of God. God's word is our protection. Um, it says that the word of God is powerful. It's a weapon that we can use to fight our battles in this life. It shows us who we are in Christ and it teaches us how to defeat the enemy through God's strength. That is why it's so important to know it, love it, obey it, and use it against the enemy as he comes against us. Ooh, honey. Just like Jesus uh, responded to the devil in the Bible. Every single time the devil came to him, Jesus responded, it is written, it is written that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. If we actively choose to learn God's word and be determined to trust the truth it brings, we will be free to live an overcoming life. Hallelujah. Knowing what God says and doing it is the greatest weapon that we have to win the life's battles. I pray that you understand that the Word of God is alive and active. That when we speak the Word of God, things start to shift. I don't know if you believe it or not, or you don't see it. It doesn't matter because I'm going to give you an example. When we learn to trust God, everything in our life goes in a different direction. We all struggle with every, with so many different things. I just had a friend of mine that spoke to me that she was so looking forward to, uh, she was buying a house and the deal fell through. I mean, she was looking to move in next month. She was so excited, her first home. She was devastated. She told me that she felt defeated. Uh, and not only that, another couple of things, because you know when things happen, they happen in twos and threes and fours, because you know when the devil comes at you, or you know when life comes at you, they come in, 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 in a wave, right? And I listened to her, this just happened recently, and I listened to her and I thought to myself, my goodness, I said, you know, this is why it's so important to know the Word of God and to stay attached to it because this is what happens. We get devastated. We start to think about things like that in our lives, but automatically, I, right away, I think to myself, but Lord, I trust you. Lord, all things work together for the things, for the good of those who love you. I know you love me. I trust you. So if I didn't get this house, then it wasn't meant for me. You must have something so much bigger and better for me. That gets me excited. So now I'm going from devastated to excited because I know the God that I serve. He has something so much bigger and better for me that I can't imagine. Or he saved me for something that he didn't want me to have. For whatever reason, he didn't allow me to get that house. Because see, I believe that he's in control of everything. So I stay there. And it gives me peace to know these things. So I'm not focusing on the circumstance that I didn't get the house. I'm focusing on what God has planned for me. And those that's what gets me excited. That's what it looks like to walk in faith. Things are not always going to turn out the way we want. Bad things are going to happen to good people. But oh my goodness, when you trust in the Lord and you start to release the word, His words from your mouth, you will have victory in every area of your life. You'll be able to be an overcomer in this world. I pray that you attach yourself to the name of Jesus. I pray that you start to release the word of God in your mouth, that it is your sword. When the enemy comes to attack you, honey, you pick up that sword of the spirit and you say, not today, Satan, not ever, because it is written that I am a child of the most high God. I am the righteousness of God. Honey, I can keep going. So you need to know who you are in Christ and you need to release it every time the enemy comes out knocking at your door, honey. You tell him that you ain't home and you're not answering because we often, when he knocks on our door, we don't even know it's him, honey. We invite him in, we give him key tea, coffee, and he just makes himself comfortable, honey. No, no. He doesn't belong in our life. He doesn't belong in our home. He doesn't belong in our families. We need to get rid of the lies of the enemy once and for all in our lives today. Let's start to align ourselves with the word of God and start to uh, receive every blessing he has for us. In the glorious name of Jesus, thank you for joining me. I am on hallelujah parkway and grateful road where you at holla